Hey guys, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. First and foremost, apologies for my incredibly long and messy hair. They, I really super duper need the haircut and I'm happy that 30% I think, uh, or at least most of the barber shops and salons here in the Philippines, they can accept like 30% already of people. So I, I mean, to total capacity of their shops. So I'm thinking of getting a haircut very soon. Whew, excited. Anyway, so for today's episode, uh, it's actually a semi-rant, but it's not more of a rant, but it's more of a suggestion to Nike. So let's jump right into it. So to make a long story short, I ordered from the Nike Philippines website. I bought a really nice Air Force One, and it looked weird because it had some sort of paper covering it. And then I bought the new Nike, Nike Pegasus uh, 38. So I bought both items and I bought from the Nike Philippines website so many times in the past. Huh? And a lot of those situations or a lot of those times, I bought more than like 10,000 pesos or around 20,000, 30,000, depending on how much, uh, how much, how many shoes I wanted to bring into review. Now to make a long story short, what happened, uh, I got a call from DHL and they told me that I needed to pay import duties or taxes because the total amount exceeded 10,000 pesos. We have a law here in the minimis. We don't need to pay import taxes if it's below 10,000. So okay, I'm like, what? That's weird because I've ordered so many times from Nike in the past. And this is the first time I've ever heard of this. I, I really don't like my hair. But anyway, first time I've ever heard that I needed to pay uh, import duties. Now, uh, it's just weird because it's a Philippines website. It's Nike Philippines. It's not Nike Singapore. It's not Nike Malaysia. It's Nike Philippines. So you would think that if you buy something there, you don't need to pay taxes, right? Or additional, I mean, you, you should pay taxes. You shouldn't pay import duties. Now, I asked on my Facebook page, and apparently, it's something that happens often. And there's massive confusion about it. Because a lot of people are saying, no, I don't need to pay taxes. And I haven't paid taxes. I haven't paid importation duties and taxes, additional stuff like that, even if they bought like more than 10,000. However, there are also so many people who also commented that they said that they paid DHL uh, more than, uh, you know, additional funds, additional money for to pay for import duties. Now, if you go to the Nike Philippines website, it actually says there that you're not supposed to pay additional import duties uh, and additional taxes apart from what is already listed on the Nike Philippines website. So, to everybody who bought before, but you were charged, and you still have proof that you were charged, I think you, you have every right in the world to complain. So you can probably, I don't know, chat the Nike support uh, website on the Nike Philippines website or you can send them an email. Uh, I don't know, ask for a refund, ask, ask for a coupon. But, but in my situation, because it wasn't delivered yet, I decided to chat their customer service on the Nike Philippines website. And to the credit of Nike Philippines or their e-commerce team, they told me that they would email the delivery person or the delivery company and make sure that I don't need to pay anything once it arrives here uh, to me in the Philippines, or at least to my doorstep. So I was actually expecting the package today, but it didn't arrive. So maybe tomorrow I'll do a, probably a follow-up if they actually, if DHL actually insists that I pay import duties. But according to the chat, wala na daw. So I don't need to pay anything. So if that's you, if, if, if you're in a similar situation, or if you can remember yourself paying taxes, for bringing in something more than 10,000 pesos, the, the, the answer to that is you shouldn't have to. I mean, you should pay VAT and the normal tax, but you shouldn't pay importation duties. You knew, that's what Nike Philippines is saying. That's what the Nike Philippines website actually says. And that's what the Nike Philippines e-commerce web service confirmed to me via our chat. Ganun siya. So kung nagbayad kayo ng additional import duties, I think, like what I mentioned earlier, maybe you should complain. Maybe you should file a ticket. Kasi mahal din yun eh. For the two shoes that I was supposed to bring in, uh, DHL called me and said that I needed to pay like over 4,000 pesos uh, in import duties. 4,000 pesos. So had I not asked my Facebook, and had I not remembered, no, wala naman ako binabayaran ganito dati ah. Then I probably would have paid them 4,000 and lost 4,000 pesos. So, to, so Nike Philippines, my suggestion is, you should talk to your delivery people, like DHL and whoever, and instill the fear of God <laughs> or something into them so that they don't do this. I don't know if it's most likely an innocent mistake because they're probably thinking that it applies to everything that passes through their shop, but it's massive inconvenience to customers, especially if they've already paid. Because I'm just so lucky that I haven't 
that the package hasn't arrived and I haven't paid for it yet. And I asked, if I take a look at all the comments on my Facebook page of the people who actually pay, bought something, kawawa naman sila, di ba? So I, I don't know what would be the what what would be the recourse of those people who ended up paying importation duties when they shouldn't have had to in the first place, di ba? So anyway, yun lang yun. <laughs> Actually, that's, that's this vlog for today. I just wanted to keep it simple. I just wanted to share the experience with you guys. And I will be updating you tomorrow or Sunday. I really don't like my hair. Anyway, whenever the... <laughs> gulo -gulo niya na, whenever the... The package arrives and I'll probably obviously do an unboxing so yeah that's actually it but before we go uh, let me just plug our new shirt over at project 721 just came out today so it's available on our Lazada shop I'll link it down below it's our collaboration shirt with the artist Jaya so he's a Filipino artist he comes up with amazing toy designs and this is the shirt design that he made for us so here in front this is my closing line in icons which he designed so peace God bless what's up boom and then oh really nice and if you take a look at the back, uh, you have the design that he made. It says, make your own luck. And this robot ox over here, the robots, is actually the designer toy, the art toy that we released in limited quantities, just 12. Uh, and it looks super, super cool. Diba? So if you weren't able to buy the toy because it sold out fast, you might want to get the shirt. So again, we only made a limited, limited run of these shirts. Uh, you can find them on our Lazada shop. It's linked down below. Okay, that's actually it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. As usual, this is Carlo signing out. Peace, God bless, what's up? Boom. <laughs>